up you guys welcome back to my channel it is a gorgeous Monday morning and we are going to be doing a little chit chat get ready with me today I have gotten a lot of requests for this recently and I'm in a chit chatty mood this morning I've got some new products that just came that I want to try out so that's what we're gonna be doing today this is kind of going to be an updated makeup routine but like kind of not um, truth be told I get ready pretty much the same way every single day um, on Tuesday I have in-person classes and Thursdays I have online classes and then Monday Wednesday Friday I am always running around either filming something shooting something staring at my computer all day um, answering emails things like that regardless of what the day holds guess what I always get ready the exact same way so I figured um, today I would just kind of sit down and walk you through what I've been doing um, I did just get um, like last week a bunch of new products from elf and I want to unbox them and use them today I got the radiant brush kit and I'm super excited about this I have this makeup like container full of brushes that ironically are all from elf they're just like five six years old and you know it's just time I'm long overdue to get new brushes so I'm very excited about these I've also got a few other sets I got this one that has um, the poreless putty primer and a setting powder in it um, I got some of their like frosted eyeshadows I got their putty bronzer their putty blush um, their like eyebrow kits and some eyeshadows and just a bunch of cool stuff that they sent over Ironically, a majority of my everyday makeup routine actually is featuring e.l.f. products already. So today we're going to kind of do a mix of my everyday routine plus new product testing. So here are all the new brushes. Pretty, cool, fun. I'm gonna be using those today, but to start off my everyday makeup routine, regardless of the day, I always use the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. I'm actually like almost out of this. I probably have three more days um, that I can use this for, so that's good. Um, just rubbing this all over my face, and then I take a very dirty beauty blender that probably needs to be replaced, and I get that wet. Not super wet, I literally just run it under water for like three seconds, okay? And then I go in with the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I used to be like a big foundation girl, and then all of a sudden I realized that I like this better. This does such a good job at covering all of your pimples um, and just really like evening out your skin tone. My, the thing that I've always struggled with most with my skin is just like having uneven skin tone. Like I don't necessarily have the world's worst breakouts. Don't get me wrong, I still get pimples. But like the main thing is that I just need something to kind of make my whole face the same color. And this stuff does such a good job at that. It also has amazing coverage. I've heard it's very comparable to the It Cosmetics CC Cream. Um, and that stuff's like four times the price. I believe this stuff's like $12 and it has a pump. It also has SPF in it. And if I'm being honest, I never, ever, 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 ever put sunscreen on unless it's like the summer and I'm at the beach. So this will probably be saving my skin in years to come. It's very disgusting looking because I've had this for a while. But I will leave it linked. I'll leave all this stuff linked down below. New products, products I'm using. This is in the shade medium 330W. Anyways, I'm just blending this in. I guess let's pull up some questions that I asked you guys to um, ask me on Instagram for this video, for the sake of this video. And so let's see what everyone's saying. Alrighty, first question. Do you ever have mental health days where you just chill and rest? No. Um, you know, that's something that I really need to work on, just like taking a full day off, but I never, ever, ever do that, and it's because, truthfully, I have the worst guilt. Like, I, when I sit and do nothing, I always, like, I can't even enjoy watching a movie because I'm like, oh, I could be linking something while I'm doing this, or I could be doing this, and that's a terrible mindset to have, probably, but I love my job, and I love working, and don't get me wrong, I do get burnt out at times, but... I find that I, you know, like the way that I prioritize my mental health is by doing what needs to be done when it needs to be done, just in a new light. So for me, that might mean like um, going for a walk in the morning and walking onto campus, grabbing something to eat and sitting outside to do my editing, to write my blog post that day rather than inside at my desk. Or it might mean 
meeting a friend and working across from one another, even if we're not chit-chatting. Like there are definitely ways where I will change up my routine so that it doesn't feel like tedious. But do I ever take a full day off? No. So anyways, next step, I am going to be using this Halo Glow setting powder. I always use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, but we're gonna be switching it up today. I wanted to take this brush out and show you guys how gross this is. I mean, I definitely need to wash my brushes more, as you can tell. But there's like no saving this. Like we need to just get rid of that, Mackenzie. And so I'm gonna use one of these new brushes. They're cool and blue. Um, well, let's see how this is. I usually don't prefer loose powder, but every now and then I like go through a phase and I use it for like months on end. And then I take a few months off. I really love to bake my under eyes, but I only bake my under eyes if I am like having a photo shoot that day. Whoa. The rest of the time I, um, well, I'll show you what I'm gonna do, okay. I kind of like this so far. My skin's a little glowy, but I still look matte to some extent. I don't know, I kind of like that. All right, good vibes. Good vibes so far. All right, then under my eyes, I go in with the e.l.f. Um, what is this stuff called? Hydrating Camo Concealer. This was not sent over just now. I've had these forever, look at that. Um, and I go in with the lighter shade and I just put this under my eyes. If I have any breakouts, I will go ahead and use it there as well. My skin's looking pretty decent right now, so I'm just gonna put a little bit on my chin, but for the most part, I'm pretty content with the way my skin's been looking. All right, next question is, where do you want to live post-grad? New York City, question mark? No, no, no. If you know me, like New York City is like the last city that I am interested in moving to. I think that the opportunity there is absolutely fantastic, but I really don't have desire to live there. I enjoyed New York City more than I ever have before when I went for Fashion Week this past um, September. And I really did have a good time, I had a fun time, but I can't picture myself moving there. As of right now, I feel like Charleston is a very high contender for me. I really love everything the city has to offer. It has a little bit of suburbia. Um, you have the city, it's not super big. You can have a car there. You've got the beach an hour away. You've got outlet malls, the airport's super close, but you can kind of still live that white picket fence life there. And that is definitely something that I see myself doing and living in. Um, I have always kind of pictured myself as someone that will settle down with the yard um, and not live in a true city city. But you can drive to King Street in like 15 minutes. So as of right now, I really am interested in exploring Charleston more. I actually have a trip planned there in November and I'm super excited. I want to see it in another season and see how I like it. And if I like it, then that might possibly be um, a post-grad move. I'm still not sure if I'm going to be getting a job after college or pursuing this full time. And so obviously that will also play a role into where I end up moving, but I don't know, we shall see. I really loved California though. Like California is probably going to be where I move for the summer. Um, I have to intern this summer and I loved literally everything about it. And so if you see me living there this summer, don't be surprised. All right, next up, I'm gonna use this new putty blush. One of my subscribers actually said that this is like her go-to. And so I'm very excited to see how it works. I feel like since it's cream, you're supposed to use your fingers, but that could be wrong. Um, I've used e.l.f. blush forever. Like I've always used e.l.f. blush. So I know that their pigmentation, I usually am really impressed with, and I do like the um, coloring, but I feel like I'm like rubbing around the foundation that I just, or the CC cream that I just put on, but I mean, what are you supposed to blend this with? I feel like a little more on the apples of my cheeks. It's a little intense. Maybe let's take a brush and we can like, kind of blend that in a little bit. Cheese. I really love the color of it though. But see, it's like coming off like powder on there. Maybe that's how it's supposed to be. I don't know, pretty cutesy. I like the texture of it, it's really cool. 
Okay, I also got like a, they gave me like a contouring cream. Should I try that out? Tan Lines Putty Bronzer. That sounds scary. Scary because I'm not that great at cream application. If you saw like the mess of my sink right now. Okay, I'm gonna use this brush for this because um, I know that this is specifically for a cream product. This is also an e.l.f. brush actually. It's just an older one. So I'm just gonna go like this. And I guess use swirly motions like my TikTok tutorials say to do. I'm very impressed with the coloring on everything that I got. Like everything is exactly my shade, which is like really ironic because I'm starting to get that like ghostly pale that I get at the end of October where I start to feel really um, unconfident in my skin. And I have to start self tanning. And yet all of these seem to match and I'm not really mad about it. They all look pretty good. I always contour a little bit on my, um, what is this called? Cheekbones? No. And then right here, just kind of slim my face down a little bit. You could tell I've been eating a lot of salt recently because my face is looking extra round. It's very hard to tell you guys what I'm doing and answer these questions at the same time. I don't know how people do this so effortlessly. Any boy updates, boy advice? Have you heard from Mike? What is going on in your boy life? I got this question a hundred times and truthfully, nothing is going on in my boy life, guys. Nothing interesting. Um, Mike was one of my closest friends last year and you guys like shipped us really hard. He graduated last year and he is actually going to grad school at in Arkansas right now. And he has a girlfriend, he's doing awesome. Um, so shout out Mike if you're watching this, miss you. Um, but no, he was never my boyfriend. He is not my boyfriend. I'm not seeing anyone. I'm not really going on dates because no boys are asking me on dates. But I'm very content in my singleness. I have so much going on in my life right now. Don't get me wrong. There are days where I definitely am like, God, like that might be fun. Like I wish that I had someone consistent in my life that I could turn to and, and really lean on and just honestly have fun with, like go and do stuff with, go to games with, go to dinner with. But I also know that where would I fit a boy into my life? Like I have so much going on as it is that I can't really imagine having another person in my life at this point. So I'm kind of content with that, I guess. Um, and I trust that God's timing will kind of provide in that area, so. All right, next question is the part about Kent State now that you are a quote unquote senior. So if you didn't know, I am graduating a semester early. I have enough credits to do so. And so I will be graduating instead of May of 2023, I will graduate in December of 2022. I'm really excited about it. I'm very proud of myself. But um, honestly, I'm starting to get a little sad about it. I will be studying abroad next fall to fulfill that credit. And now that I finally got this open, I am going to be doing my eyebrows. I used to always use the e.l.f. clear brow gel and then I ran out of it. And they sent over this like new like waxy looking stuff. So I'm going to try this out and see how this is. I'm very curious about this. I feel like you should apply the wax first, right? So I'm going to go through and like go like this. Anyways, back to the study abroad. I'm studying abroad in Florence, Italy, August to December. I'm very excited, I'm very nervous, um, but I will not come back to Kent. In May, I will move out of this apartment and I will never come back to Kent State as a student ever again, and that is very sad. The thing that I'm enjoying most about this school year though is that because I know that I won't be coming back, I have really taken like I've had a newfound appreciation for Kent and I've said yes so much more. Kappa Sigma date party, yes. Let's go to Dusty on a random Wednesday, yes. Let's have a movie night and blow up an air mattress and sleep in the living room, yes. I've said yes so much more because I realized that I will never live like this ever again. And it's a very tough pill to swallow knowing that like the next stage of your life is like the real world. And after it, you don't go back. You will never be in this stage of life again and I'm having a very hard time processing that and accepting that and like being honestly okay with that. Um, 
in high school I was like so ready to move on to college and while yes I am excited and ready to be in the real world I know that I will miss this stage of life so much and so um, you know I'm just kind of rolling with that every day it is something that I think about every single day but my favorite part about the year is definitely like saying yes more and feeling like I can justify saying yes more because it's my last year and when am I ever gonna be able to do this again um, so I've been loving that I loved having my parents come and visit it felt so good honestly I felt so empty when my parents pulled away um, I realized how much I miss my family when I am here at school I've never really been someone to get homesick but um, when they leave, I definitely am like, damn, like I will never, I'll never live at home the same way again. And I'll never, I don't know, it's like a new relationship with your parents. And that, that is hard, I think. Whoa, God, just drop that on the ground. Gross. Um, anyways, stick it in my eye now. I am, I have lash extensions right now. I don't know if I mentioned that. I've mentioned it in a couple vlogs, but. I'm not in this video. Um, I do have lash extensions. They are on like week two and a half. So they are starting to fall out a little bit and I haven't gotten them filled yet. So I still have a bunch of fake eyelashes, but not as many, but I like to go through and brush them out with a little spoolie. You're supposed to brush them like twice a day. So I brush them when I do my makeup in the morning and then when I get out of the shower at nighttime. So I only apply mascara to my lower lashes. And I just went ahead and applied like a little bit of primer to them. That is the L'Oreal like Lash Paradise. And then I go in with the Maybelline Great Lash on my lower lashes. Um, to be honest, I haven't worn any eyeshadow since I got the lash extensions. I feel like it's kind of hard to touch your eyelids and stuff. You're not really supposed to like um, aggravate the lashes and like constantly touch them and stuff. So I haven't done any eye makeup besides putting on lower lash mascara and yet I feel beautiful every day when I wake up with these gorgeous lashes so I probably am not gonna get them filled just because you are supposed to give your like lashes time to breathe and I don't have any upcoming trips so it feels kind of silly to get them filled just like just for nothing but it has been so convenient to just like literally if I weren't talking right now this would have taken me at most seven minutes to get ready which is really nice so anyways okay next thing I'm going to do is plug my curling iron in because my hair is curled right now and I need to touch it up a little bit and I always plug this in like when I only have like two steps left in my makeup routine so that it's heating up okay the last thing that I'm going to do is put on a little bit of highlighter let's use my new brushes they sent over like all these cool ones and I feel like I should try them out this is definitely a highlighting brush put a little bit right here and then I always put a little bit right on the tip of my nose and right on my cupid's bill and then I'm gonna go in and put a little bit right under my brow bone and then a little bit right there on my inner corner Alright, next question. Do you know where you want to travel next? Actually, yes. Okay, so it is currently like October 25th when I am filming this video and I am possibly going to Nashville the second week of November for a quick little mini work trip and then I am definitely going to Charleston November 13th to the 15th. I'm partnering with an Airbnb and I'm kind of just going, like I said, to see what it's like in the fall, see if I like it. I do believe that Jules and Sam, um, two of my best content creating friends, are going to meet me there. Um, and it should be fun. Just gonna eat, take some photos. It's a very short, like two day trip. And then I am also trying to plan a trip to Hawaii in January. That is like my number one goal. We are trying to go. I'm still in the works, like talking with different hotels and stuff. And honestly, even if I don't end up working with a hotel or an Airbnb, I am going to pay money to stay for 10 days because I've always wanted to. I think it's a great opportunity and I have off for school that whole month, um, December like 15th to January 15th. So why not? Why not go? And every trip I go on, I feel like not only do I grow so much as a person, but I feel like my content 
and my platforms flourish and it brings me so much joy so I yeah that's what's in the works right now I did just apply the elf bite-sized lip balm it's a little big on the applicator I always apply lip balm before I do my hair and then after I do my hair I'll go in and put like lip gloss and lip liner on um, and then the last thing I do is always set my face with the elf setting spray it's looking disgusting because it was in my travel makeup bag but anyways okay I'm gonna put a couple curls in my hair this was supposed to be kind of an everyday makeup routine it's more like not now but oh well um, next question, what is nightlife like at Kent? Do you mostly go to frats, bars, sporting events, or stay in with the girls? A little bit of everything, all of the above. Kent is not a bar school if you are underage. Like, people don't use fake IDs here. Um, not that I'm condoning fake IDs. I don't have one anyways, but um, people don't really use them as it is. So, frats are a very big thing. We go to frats some nights. Other nights, I'll hang out with my baseball friends, like my sporting friends. I hang out with my girlfriends at school a lot. We do a lot of like just apartment hangouts too, girls nights in. We do a lot of movie nights, but and we do a lot of karaoke nights. Karaoke nights are definitely my favorite. Um, I got a karaoke machine for my birthday and I love like just bringing it out, singing with friends. It's like my favorite thing to do. But if I say we're going out nine times out of 10, we probably are going to a frat function of some sort. We are able to go to the Dusty Armadillo, which is a like country line dancing bar here. And that is 18 and up. So you can go even if you are underage, obviously you can't drink alcohol there, but you can still go and they do line dancing every Wednesday. And we do that a lot too, which is a lot of fun if you do want to be in like more of a bar scene to meet people. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what nightlife's like here. A little bit of it all. Um, my roommates are 21, I'm not, so they still go out to the bars and stuff and like they are entering kind of a new chapter that I can't necessarily be included in because I can't go out with them as much, but we still make an effort to like have roomy nights in and sing karaoke and do those movie nights like I said, so that we're kind of all still together. Um, and sometimes we get dressed up just to sit in the apartment just to make life a little more interesting. but. In a COVID world, things definitely are happening again. People are still throwing parties, things like that. Um, how do you keep up with everything and still post consistently? Um, you know, I used to be much more consistent than I am now. In previous school years, I feel like I did a much better job at posting to the blog Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, making sure videos were going up at the exact same time um, on Sundays and like, I was posting every day to Instagram and I've struggled with that a lot more this school year than I ever have before. And I think that it's because not only is my content changing, I've obviously taken new approaches, I'm starting to travel more, um, I'm working with new brands, but I'm, I'm also in a different season of life and I'm in that senior year phase where I want to take advantage of every opportunity thrown my way and I've wanted to say yes more and I've wanted to go out more and in turn, I've had less time to obviously devote to style by stuff. And I, for a long time, I felt really guilty about it. I still do. But at the same time, I know that I'm only, I'm only a senior in college once. And this platform will always be here. And if it means posting three times a week instead of four times a week, then so be it. You know, I'm gonna live my life and I'm gonna make sure that I still am catering towards all areas, but I have really struggled with it this year. And you've probably noticed if you've been diligently watching my videos. So I'm trying, I'm putting forth every effort to make sure that all my platforms are getting love, but it definitely, it definitely does come with a lot of planning, a lot of micromanaging, um, and a lot of patience, which I don't have, so. Okay, I just popped a few curls in my hair, nothing crazy. This is the um, T3 iron, one and a quarter inch barrel if you're curious. I was on second day hair right now, so I just put a couple in and that looks good enough for me. And the last thing that I do to get ready is use a little bit of lip liner and a buxom lip gloss. I have a hundred buxom lip glosses. Lately, the Rebecca shade has been my favorite. And then I use the Essence Stay All Day lip liner. This is like says eight hours. This is like, stuff is crazy. It's insane how well this stays on. I have no idea what the shade of this is because I use it so much that it's rubbed off. Um, but 
Target, they only have like five shades. So just pick the one that looks nude. Um, you know, I'm putting a little bit of this on, which brings me to my next question, which was, um, how are you liking your lip flip? So if you guys have been keeping up with my vlogs, um, about three weeks ago, I got a lip flip. And a lip flip is just a little bit of Botox in your upper lip and it essentially paralyzes that muscle so that when you smile, your upper lip doesn't curl in as much. And to be honest, it didn't make as drastic of a difference as I expected it to, but I'm kind of grateful that it didn't. I don't want it to be like very noticeable that I got work done or did anything to my lips. I just wanted like something really subtle to kind of make my smile a little bit fuller. And it definitely did a little bit cease. When I smile, my upper lip doesn't curl under as much. And it definitely did pull down this area a little bit. I don't really notice anything too different besides when I'm eating food. Like if I were eating soup or like kind of making a slurpy motion, you can't like suck the same way. Like I can't like slurp something up the same way. I don't even know how to describe it, but um, other than that, nothing about my lip really feels that different. I really like it. It's temporary and they say within four to six weeks that Botox will dissolve, especially if you are using that muscle a lot, which I talk all day every day. So she said yours probably will dissolve a little bit quicker. I do have an appointment to go back and get another one. I do want to try it again and see. She said that she could do an extra unit or two of Botox to see if a little bit more would make more of a drastic difference. But like I said, it is supposed to be something super subtle, just a little enhancement. And they say that it's kind of like a gateway to lip filler. Like a lot of people start out with this and then decide that they want lip injections. As of right now, I don't want lip injections. I'm not saying that I would never get them, but for now, I like my smile. I think that it definitely made it a little less gummy. And yet I still look like me. I still look like myself. So um, yeah, now that I've talked for like 100 hours, look at my thing. I really liked a lot of these new products. I really like that blush. Like it feels very fresh, very pretty. Um, and my brushes, I can't wait to undo them all. They gave me a bunch of eyeshadow brushes too. And I haven't been wearing eyeshadow like I said, but part of it is because I left all my eyeshadow brushes at home, so. Now I can do it, but anyways, guys, that is it for this little chit chat, get ready with me. I feel like this was nothing super exciting. And I also definitely didn't answer too, too many questions, but to be honest, there was like only three questions that I didn't get to. So if you guys want to see a more in-depth Q and A, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. And if you liked a video, like a little more casual and style like this, also let me know that. And I'll be sure to add more into my a monthly YouTube schedule, but that's gonna be all for this video. Like I said, I'll leave all these products linked down below that I used today. And yeah, that's a wrap. Talk soon. Love you guys.